All right, hello everybody, Zach's 399 again. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the newly launched Dual Snake on Steam, a puzzle game, casual game, where you gotta use uh, two different ends of a snake to try to get by some pretty cleverly designed rooms and levels and puzzles. So Dual Snake, a game that is $7.99 on Steam. It launched back on January 30th. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this game right after this. All right, guys, welcome back. This is the first game by Yafrit. I hope I pronounced that correctly but this developer's first published game on Steam anyhow. And when it launches, you have a story mode, you have an online mode. Uh, really isn't anybody online to play with, but you do have an editor. So you, after you go and play all these, you know, games or levels rather, after you play all the levels that come in the story mode, you can go into the editor and uh, create your own levels and submit it to Steam uh, and you know, other people on Steam can play your levels and you can go play their design levels, etc. So pretty cool workshop type of deal there. In the options, you have different resolutions here, full screen on or off, enable joystick, and you have music and sound levels. We're gonna go ahead and turn those down just a little bit here. And we're gonna go ahead and go back to the main menu and jump into story mode. This is what I want to show you guys. You have more than 50 levels. Now, a lot of these levels were played by my son the other day. He had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, granted, he got frustrated in a couple of points, but if you keep thinking about it and keep trying different things, you will eventually see that there is a method to the madness. 59 levels in the game right now. So $7.99, let me show you how this game works. When you go to one, it kind of shows you how, much, how long it's taken you to solve the level so far. Uh, and I think what your what the world time is, so the best time is like two, 2.3 seconds, it looks like. So anyway, you're going to move either the arrow keys or actually you, you do use WASD to control the left head of the snake and the arrow keys to control the right head of the snake. So this is how you do it. But basically, I mean, all you're going to do is in this first room is move him into the open hallway there. Now you're on level two, if you would, and you simply got to get over there. Not real difficult. Now, as you see on level three, you have a button you have to hit and you just pass right through it as the button does, uh, you know, open those uh, green bars, if you would. Level four, things get a little bit more interesting. It looks hard, but it's really not. You're gonna go ahead and move up here and then you will proceed just like this. Here is, actually it doesn't let you use WASD at this point yet. So you just have to circle around here, come over here. You see that closes the gate. So all you have to do here is make, and it gives you a little room to turn yourself around there. And then not that difficult, but things really do progress pretty quickly. As you'll see right here, this one took me a couple of tries, a little bit of head scratching on a level five here. But all you gotta do is kind of snake your way in like this. This is the first level where you gotta use a WASD and it shows you, you know, clear instructions right there, WASD. So move the blue head with WASD, move him up, wind him over here, and you just gotta kind of snake your way up the, uh, the wall there. Now we're on level six, and again, we may have to use both uh, head and blue section here. But here, all we gotta do is knock the block down there and it gives us the freedom to move on. Not real difficult yet. Here, we have to break the block and I'm trying to remember exactly what the method is here, but you just gotta wind your way up like this. Again, not terribly difficult. Break that block move on here break this block and you see we can't get up here so again i think we have to just wind our way up here nope that's not it 
All right, so we gotta use this block here. Just like that. Here we got some kind of a gravity field uh, moving us upward. It's kind of like I think of it like air flowing or something like that. It pushes us to the top. And then here we get pushed down to the bottom. That one's not real difficult, but I think it's just trying to show us how it works. And here we can't move to the right. So what we have to do is we see a button right up here. So we'll need to move this block to the button. There we go. Really pretty easy. And then here we get pushed up. And, oh, we missed it. Okay. There we go, just like that. So on this level, I do believe... Yeah, you can never mind all the blocks and everything like that following. It's all really just to confuse you. I think this one is as simple as moving your blue head in so that your snake is smaller. And then it's just timing. And you'll want to use D to move right and uh, to move your blue head right at the same time as you move your red head right with the arrow keys. So just like that. All right, on this one here, you want to watch the blocks falling on the red buttons. And you want to make sure you time it. So I believe the first red button is pushed first. And then right after that, the second red button is pushed. So you got to watch the timing on it. I probably should have taken it right there. Let's wait again until the first red block is pushed and then followed right up by the second one. Oh, missed it. Just like that. And this is Dual Snake. I really like this game. It gets more and more complex as you play through it. Uh, my son and I kind of work together to get about 30 levels, so we got about, I think we got about 34 levels completed, something like that. A little more than halfway through. Took us, I think, a little over an hour. So I do think you got quite a bit of uh, value out of this game, even though it is $8. Remember, you also have the level editor and the ability to go play other people's, you know, design levels online. And while this game doesn't have a ton of replay value, I do like this game. I want to give this game extra points for its originality. Uh, clever level design and I can't even imagine if some of these levels are hard for us to you know figure out and beat how complicated and how complex and how smart must the developer be to design all these levels pretty amazing stuff uh, one thing that always gets me with these games is like how smart these guys are that design these levels and these uh, puzzle games like this but dual snake guys if I had to grade it on value uh, I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's great because I don't think most people are going to get eight hours of game time out of this. You know, a dollar an hour, which I usually look for to get a really high score. But I'm going to give this game a 25 out of 40 on value. And the next criteria that I look for in any of these, uh, you know, games that I grade in these indie games is fun. How much fun is the game? I think this game's quite a bit of fun if you like puzzle games like this, if you like to think. You know, if you like to challenge yourself to think beyond the, you know, normal video game or shooter or whatever. I like this kind of game. If you guys have seen, I've graded a lot of puzzle games really high. I think this game is pretty fun. I'm going to give this game a 27 out of 30. I think it's quite a bit of fun. 27 out of 30 on fun. Next criteria is controls and bugs. I really haven't seen any kind of bugs. Uh, controls work flawlessly. WASD to move your blue head. Air keys to move your redhead if you would and uh, 
I think it works flawlessly. So 20 out of 20 for controls and bugs. I just can't find anywhere where you would knock this, uh, you know, game down are for, for controls and bugs. And then graphics and sound has a pleasant little tune that plays in the background. I think the sounds are sufficient. While not great, same thing with the graphics. They're definitely sufficient, so you know what's going on. Pretty cute, uh, you know, snake, if you would, when you kind of, when you get him killed or whatever. It's pretty, pretty interesting. So I do like this game, guys. Uh, for graphics and sound, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm just going to give it a 5 out of 10 for that. If you add that all up, guys, I said 25 out of 40 for value. I said 27 out of 30 for fun. You add that up, you wind up with 52. 20 out of 20 for controls and bugs makes it 72 and then 5 out of 10 for graphics and sound you wind up with a respectable 77 score uh i think this game's just a little bit overpriced so if this looks like your cup of tea and you know eight bucks feels like a little bit too much money maybe wait for a sell on this game if the price was dropped to like five bucks 4.99 three bucks something like that this game would definitely be a you know a 35 40 value and it would be well up in the 80s for my score Price is just a little bit high, but I do like this game. I like its unique uh, perspective and everything like that. And in fact, on my 77 total score, I'm going to go ahead and give this game five points for original, uh, you know, originality and being creative. I've never seen a game quite like this, controlling two heads of a different worm. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and pump my score up to an 82 out of 100 for this game. And that is my score. I want to go and thank you guys for watching. If this uh, video has helped you make a decision about this game or inspired you to go buy it, please let me know down in the comments below. Be sure you rate my video, guys. This is Axter99, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.